Do you guys want to know how we do so many giveaways and top-ups in Genshin without burning through our wallets? Well, here's the secret. There's this website called Lootbar GG, where you can save up to 20% compared to in-game purchases. Since Lootbar uses the official partnership route, you can enjoy all the official Hoyaverse recharge events, meaning you can get twice the amount of Genesis crystals if you have the bonus. This is how I purchased 6,560 Genesis crystals for only $47. All I did was provide my UAD and make the payment, and one to two minutes later, I received the crystals on my account. No hassle. It's completely safe and secure. If you don't believe me, Lootbar has thousands of good reviews on their website. Take a look. Even big shots like Dukaja, Tevat Times, and Jello Impact approve of Lootbar, so head over to the link in the description and start saving money. New users get 5% off their first purchase. Hello, everyone. We've received another exciting update from the reliable source Home DigiCat, and this time it's about Capitano. This information has also been shared by PTL and Team Mew, reinforcing its credibility. Be warned, there are some voice lines included that might be considered spoilers. Let's dive in. Capitano, as we know, is the code name for the captain, and he is ranked first among the 11 Fatui Harbingers. He is considered the most powerful harbinger in the Fatui organization. Prior to this, there was some uncertainty about whether he was more powerful than Piero, who, as the director of the Fatui, doesn't have an official rank. According to our source, Capitano is the strongest character after the Archons, indicating his immense power. White, another reliable source, has revealed that we will witness a fight scene between Capitano and the Pyro Archon during Natlin's Archon quest. This battle between the strongest Fatui Harbinger and the God of War promises to be legendary, and I can't wait to see it. Moving on to his personality, Capitano is portrayed as extremely righteous, abhorring all evil and adhering to strict moral standards. He is always stringent with himself, but shows some tolerance towards his subordinates. He follows a code of principles and battle etiquette, though he is not rigid or foolish. Initially perceived as dangerously righteous and potentially vulnerable to trickery, it soon becomes apparent that no deceit can withstand his absolute power. Notably, he is probably a demi-human and is fiercely loyal to his country, likely Snezhnaya or another unknown origin. In demeanor, Capitano often displays a fatherly nature, but in combat, he exudes the oppressiveness of absolute power. His personality is both reasonable and understanding, embodying chivalry without being rigid, adhering to his principles in a unique way. Here are some of his trial voice lines. 1. No change of plan. Attack from the front. This shows his concise communication and calm leadership on the battlefield. 2. Every age gives birth to elites like you, but I defeated every one of them. He acknowledges past battles with the Abyss Order calmly. Three, we shall face many hardships on our road towards Her Majesty's ideal, and my responsibility is to fight to the last moment. He remains unfazed by mind games and responds with unwavering determination. We still don't know if Capitano will be a playable character or if he possesses a vision. Since he might not be from Teyvat, there's a chance he doesn't have one of the seven visions. If he does, it would most likely be Geo or Pyro, though this is purely speculative. Before we continue, make sure to check out our Discord server to take part in giveaways, participate in challenge events like this one, get instant leaks and updates, and hang out with other Genshin players, including me. Link is in the description. That's all. Thanks for watching and subscribe, or you'll lose your 50-50ths to Chi-Chi.